the Earth's crust might be peeling in two off the coast of Portugal. Yasemin Saplakoglu of Life Science reports this. Back in 1969, there was a giant earthquake off the coast of Portugal, and it kicked up a tsunami that killed over a dozen people some 200 years prior, though. An even larger earthquake hit the same exact area, and there was 100,000 people that lost their lives, and it destroyed the city of Lisbon. Two earthquakes in the same exact spot over a couple of hundred years is not cause for alarm, but what puzzled seismologists geologists about these earthquakes was that they began in relatively flat beds of the ocean, away from any faults or cracks in the Earth's crust, where tectonic plates slip past each other, releasing energy and thus causing earthquakes. So how is this possible? What's causing the rumbles under a seemingly quiet area? One idea is that a tectonic plate is peeling into two layers, if that's at all possible, the top peeling off the bottom layer. This phenomenon has never been observed before, but a group of scientists reported in April at the European Geoscience Union General Assembly, which is held in Vienna, that this peeling may be creating a new subduction zone, or an area in which one tectonic plate is ramming beneath another according to their abstract. So this is something that's under development. The peeling is likely driving, driven by water absorbing layer in the middle of the tectonic plate. This is according to National Geographic. This layer might have undergone a geologic process called serpentinization, in which water that seeps in through cracks causes a layer to transform into soft green minerals. Now, this transformed layer might be causing enough weakness in the plate for the bottom layer to peel away from the top layer. And that peeling could lead to deep fractures that trigger a tiny subduction zone. This is what National Geographic reported. This group is not the first to propose this idea, but it's the first to provide some data on this. So they tested their hypothesis with two-dimensional models, and their preliminary results showed that this type of activity is indeed possible, but it's possible, but it's yet to be proven. This research has not yet been published in a peer-reviewed journal. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.